It's Deal or No Deal time. Week 9 of the NFL season is here. JMO is here. The wide receivers are here. Winner of last week barely squeaked it out with Austin barely. Eckler and Romeo Dobbs. Did just enough. Believe you won by half a point. Yeah, it was five close. yards. He, one he reception. Tried to, he tried to sell the bag, though. He fumbled at the end. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he tried to do. He did enough. Deal or No Deal recap time. Let's get into it. We have by far. The closest matchup we have ever seen in Deal or No Deal. JMO, 29.6 points to Nick's 28.6. A one point narrow victory for JMO, bringing his total record to five and three versus three and five for Nick. Just all around, too. Like, same tier of running back, same tier of wide receiver, even same team of wide receiver. Came down to the very end. Taking a look at how each guy did, JMO played perfectly looking at the board last week. Like, he was knocking off all of the lowest tier guys. Look at the running backs. Look at his average players remaining on the board in terms of their projected points in the running back. Round. Even the, the wide receiver round, like he just got better every single round. He was absolutely dominant. But the reason he didn't win as big as he should have with this is because he was not taking the offers. He plays the game way too long and ends up screwing himself. With this as your wide receivers, the averages of your wide receivers, you should not end up with Romeo Dobbs. Nick, on the other hand, he like, look at his wide receivers, he played poorly. He knocked off all of the top options, but in the end, ended up with the same tier guy because he takes the offers. Speaking of offers, let's see how I did in terms of how fair my offers were. A little unfair towards JMO here. I averaged a 1.1 projection lower than I should have. Nick, pretty much on point, 0.3 above. Now taking a look at every single player that was offered, it, there really wasn't much Nick could have done. The only win condition he had was if he took Jerry Judy there as the wide receiver, which I don't think he had any intention of doing so. He took the best player he could have in the running back round, almost the best player he could have taken in the wide receiver round. Just JMO played the board way too well, got out too far ahead. JMO, on the other hand, did miss out on a few better offers than what he did get. Travis Etienne would have been better than Eckler. Henry Spears would have been about the same. And then for the receivers, like Garrett Wilson, Josh Downs, these guys would have been better options for him. But he just likes to pass on all of my offers. He should have paid the price this week. He luckily for him did not. That's the end of this week's Deal or No Deal recap. Yeah, so luckily for you, you will be the one picking an outfit for Nick to wear. You're going to make it look ridiculous. Where should I go shopping? Probably Buffalo Exchange. They got some weird shit there, for sure. That's where we went last time, you know. The classic. This week, however, though, the punishment is that the loser is going to have to go back and give a presentation on their top 10 worst takes from the preseason. So it's actually a not top 10, a bottom 10. But, um, yep, we'll make a video for that. So, as we always do so well... Let's play the game of deal or no deal. Pick a jersey that is going to be your jersey. We'll go with jersey number one. Uno. Jamar Chase wears number one. What are, what, are the, what are the chances? Chances? We will see. Jersey numero uno is yours -o. Three jerseys, however, are not going to be yours. Let's get them out of here. Let's go three, seven, five. Three, seven, five. Trying to throw me off by not putting him in order, but it's okay. Starting with jersey number three, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Okay. Pre pre recording, you were talking about how you're not a fan Let's of JSN go. this yeah. week. Just, He's been doing pretty well, but he has been. But Ravens are a tough matchup. You don't trust it. You don't trust it. Jersey number five, Christian Watson. Okay. Yeah. Hard That's hard to tell right. what he is nowadays. We're you know, Jordan Love stinks, so it's affecting everyone. Staying on the outer skirts, that's okay. And jersey number seven, Jamar Chase. He's not, not what you wanted to see. He's not under number one. In real life, he wears jersey number one. Here, he is wearing number seven, All not right. yours. Ow, that was a big hitter. Yeah, you've had better rounds to start off games, but it's okay because even if this isn't your most hot start, the banker still has an offer for you. What we got? All right, JMO, I'm going to offer you... Rashi Rice, 8.2 projection taken on the Miami Dolphins. Ooh, little Germany game. Yeah. Some German rice. Oh, I feel like Interesting. If this, if this is like a round deeper, I'd be considering this. I don't know if I've taken a deal on the first offer this season. Are the tides changing? Are we growing as human beings here? It feels a little premature. 
Does it? Make a deal, right? Like, there's still some, still some X factors up there. I think I gotta say no deal for one more, at least. It's a no deal. We're not interested in Rashi Rice Banker, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna rip two more jerseys, starting with number eight. Jersey number eight. Get him out of here. AJ Brown. Wow. That's a big hitter. AJ Brown's been cooking lately. All right. Unfortunately, one more jersey Six. still has to go. Let's get rid of the middle row. Getting rid of the middle row. Jersey number six. Miko Hardman. All right. All right. You like to see that. Oh, gosh. You know, if I could get rid of, like, a Scotty Miller next round, I would take, like, a Rashi Rice consideration again. Now you want Rashi Rice. I'm just saying, if we got back to a situation, Banker, I, I know not right now, but in the future, if we got there, I'd reconsider. All right, Banker. Help this man out. Hmm. I'm going to offer you Josh Downs, 9.1 projection taken on the Carolina Panthers. Josh feels, Downs. Feels generous. Feels pretty nice. I will say it's it's not a episode with I the like banker this? if Josh Downs' offer doesn't appear. So that time that we're talking about Josh Downs. I hate the way I play this game. Those are two good offers. Like, you would be happy to start those guys in your flex spot. Banker knows he has to come correct with you because you're not afraid to say no deal. However, Josh Downs, thoughts? I gotta say no deal. Once again, it's a no deal from Jameson. Big balls play here. I gotta say, that that was pretty gutsy of you. I gotta rip off two or one now? You gotta, you gotta rip off two more, my guy. <laughs> Probably should have been a question you asked before you just turned right. down an offer. Ugh. Offer's off the table, and so are these two jerseys. Ten and four. Jersey number ten. Darnell Mooney. Okay, that's huge. That is huge. Stay humble. And jersey number four, your old pal. My OG. You think this is who do you think this is? Oh God. Garrett Wilson. Jersey number four. Scotty Miller. Four's got my back so hard. What, <laughs> what a, a fucking turnaround. killer round. Oh my god. Josh Downs who? Oh my god. You thought you were down and out. You just ripped off the bottom two jerseys still available. Darnell Mooney, Scotty Miller, not your jersey. That's a a strong bunch. This is a strong bunch. We still know Gabe Davis is like boomer bust. 50-50. But you know, it's a good baseline. It's a good baseline to have. If you have Gabe Davis, you're not out of this week. We're definitely, we got a swing. We got a shot. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because these guys are all bunched together. But Bankerson, what are we thinking? Waddle's been heating up too. Don't forget that, Banker. I'm going to offer you Devonta Smith, 11.0 projection taken on the Dallas Cowboys. Damn, Devonta Smith? Big name. Devonta Smith, 11.0. Has he been living up to that projection? I don't know. I think Feels he, like AJ he had a Brown. good game last week. AJ? Both of them. Both of them. Devonta put up 100 and a touchdown. Dallas, Dallas, a little bit tougher of a D. This is interesting. God, I hate who I am right now. I might hate you too. I might be hating you too. Who passes up on Devonta Smith? I am. No deal. This man is running wild. He's saying no deal to Devontae Smith. I got to be honest with you. It feels like Devontae is right behind Waddle and probably a better option than Wilson and Davis, but it is what it be. Two more jerseys. Or sorry, one more jersey. You only need one more jersey. Let's get it out of here. Get rid of Gabe. Just need to get rid of Sir Gabriel. Where is he, J-Mo? An open mind. Open two. Jersey number two. Jalen Waddle. All right, all right. That is tough. That is tough. Took a turn for the worst here. The good news is, is it feels like last round put you in a decent spot. Could have done better. Mm-hmm. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Stay positive. Right. Like Garrett Wilson's. I oh know. I hate Zach Wilson. It's tough to rely on I Zach Wilson. I can't talk myself into him. Yeah. Chargers give up like the most points to receivers, so that's something. I feel like Garrett Wilson's still been putting up decent production though. Yeah, he's been like solid, but it's like I feel like I. I know there's no like 25 point game loading. Right. That's not in. That's not. Zach in his Wilson bag. doesn't have that in his bag for sure. For sure. What is in the bag though is this offer from the Bankerstein. I'm gonna offer you Zay Flowers 10.1 projection taken on the Seattle Seahawks. Interesting offer. Interesting offer. Zay Flowers projection wise matches with the highest case still on the board. Yeah, it does. Half PPR. Zay's just half PPR this year. Zay doesn't have a 15 point game. Exactly. Underdog projections, a little, little that, out of whack. Is that really there. what I want to settle for? Like 15 points is my ceiling? I don't think it is. I think I just got to go for either of these. I think I, I think I might prefer either of these. Really? Just as just far for the as ceiling upside is. goes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, you know what? I respect it. I, I respect the offer as well. But 
He respects you, Bankerson. You respect him. He respects you. I don't respect either of you, but it's okay. We're going to put Jersey number one back up on the board. So it's now time to make the decision. Do you want to stick with the Jersey that you've been riding with all along? Or do you want to make a last second pivot and go for Jersey number nine? My brain says nine, switch it, but my gut says one. Your heart and your brain, your guts, your gumption, your glory. Got to think rationally. I'm switching. I'm going to nine. You're going. You're training it in. It's time to reveal your wide receiver under jersey number nine, Gabe Davis. Interesting. So you had Garrett Wilson Fuck. the entire time. Not a bad jersey to stick with. Um, you played a decent game. Gabe Davis, I have no idea what to let you know about him. It's going to be a roller coaster of a Sunday night game. That's for sure. I feel like I'm a good player. I just never know when to take my wins. You, you like don't I, know when to I, just I, cash out for sure. I, I put myself in good situations and don't take advantage of it. No. It'll come with time. You're still relatively <laughs> Next new. This season. Is, yeah, this is your rookie year. Right, we're halfway through your rookie That's season. True. You're still learning. We'll, we'll eventually get to that one punishment that you have to do mm-hmm. that you learn yeah. <laughs> immediately. That's I fair. don't know if you've really had a punishment like that, like between no, eating a few hot dogs and maybe singing Taylor Swift. That one hurts. that was a little rough. That hurts my my respect for myself. Yeah, pride was just shot. Right. After Gabe that. Davis. Gabe Davis. We got a shot. All right. We, we, we definitely do. It was a decent first round. We'll be back later for a running back round for you. But next is Nick to find his wide receiver in deal or no deal. And we're back with Nicholas on the couch to find himself a wide receiver for week nine of the NFL season. Deal or no deal. Loser of last week, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if you know the score, but you just got squeaked out. Jaden Reed didn't do enough. No. You lost by half a point. No, no, no. I think I won. I don't think you did. I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure you lost. I'm like 90% sure you lost. Because Austin Eckler outscored Brees Hall. Austin Eckler lost two fumbles. Half point PPR. God damn it, my phone's not here. He scored fewer points than Brees Hall. No, he didn't. He did. Austin Eckler scored more than Brees Hall. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Banker. Yeah. Who won? Who won, Banker? See, I had it as Jayma too. But are you saying go fade me scoring? Not without points per carry. None of that. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's why I usually go fade this. It's half PPR, but I don't know what the fumbles loss point is for that. Yeah, but I don't think it matters. I think Eckler still outscored Brees Hall by like a point. Eckler had 19.8. And Brees Hall had 18.8, I think, right? Brees Hall had 18.3. 18.3. For some reason, I thought Brees outscored Eckler. No. I thought he had 21. No, Brees does not have 21. 21. I'm in Nick. All right, well, after the fact check, we've come to the same conclusion that Nick <laughs> lost again. So you'll be dressing up this year again. Again? I was you, hot. You were hot. Now you're not. You might be hot, though, in whatever costume that Jamo picked out for you. You never know. He could, He's a nice guy. He might go easy on you. Such a good guy. Yeah. He's so beautiful. Bank All right. So beautiful, too. Yeah, everybody's beautiful. Not you. Keep going. You're beautifully ugly. Thank you. All right, one jersey. Let's make it your jersey for this round. Oh. Actually, no. Nine. Going with the uh, going with a little bit of a play uh, RPO here. We'll Check call niner, that. niner. Hell yeah. Saw the open man. Slant beat his cornerback. Fuck it. All right. Wanted four. Pivoted to nine. Jersey number nine is yours. Three jerseys on these beautiful bleachers are not going to be yours, though. Where are they at? One, two, and seven. Interesting strategy. Going with jersey number one, Jackson Smith and Jigba. This is a uh, good. Forgiving board. Yeah. Forgiving. What do you when mean? I make mistakes, it's forgiving to me. Okay. Like, I, is, you know, the, I can go all the way down to, like, Mooney. I don't want him, but, like. Dear, you don't want it. I don't. Tyson Bajan, Mooney? Yeah, true that. You're right. Never mind. But, like, JSN. Get Any, anyone JSN up, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. All right. Jersey number two. Christian Watson. We're testing so it. So, we're starting. With yeah, JSN. we're starting there and working like, our oh, way you, up. You know what? You like all these guys? Let's rip them off. Let's see them disappear. Jersey number seven. Gabe Davis. All right, we Dude, literally just was, worked our way up. How you doing? Just absolutely demolished the middle of this. Of how you this doing? Game. Yeah, we just we went full anchor mode. I can believe I lost last week. This is breaking news to you, huh? Yeah, sure. You definitely came into this game thinking you were a winner. And I'm like, I'm continued. on a seven game win streak. Yeah. Ain't nobody could touch me. Just, uh, you know, banker's so beautiful. It's like you don't apologize for shit. You have you were never wrong. Exactly. If you never admit defeat, you I were won. never defeated. I won. Now I'm just going to wear the outfit for like the week and be like, I like this outfit anyways. I was going to wear this regardless. I won. 
Regardless, Banker's going to give you an offer, even though it's going to probably stank. Banker, what are we what? thinking? I'm going to offer you Tyler Lockett. 9.3 projection taken on the Baltimore Ravens. So you lost out on JSN, but you could take his better teammate, Tyler Lockett. Lockett had a big game. He disappears at times. Ravens are a tough matchup. Marlins getting hum- uh, getting healthier. Lockett did win me a matchup two weeks ago, though. He did. He did. You run it back with Tyler Lockett? Uh, they had Homer on the road. I believe they're on the road. Banker? Oh, um, it's in Baltimore. Traveling coast to coast. He could be traveling end zone to end zone. Touchdown one way, touchdown the other. <sighs> That's a good offer. What's your projected? 9.3. Sometimes these uh, underdog projections can be a little wonky, though, you know? Yeah, like, I actually think I might prefer him to Garrett Wilson, but I'm, I'm going to go no deal. It's a no deal. We're not taking first round offers. What do you think this is, banker? It's the first time I didn't rip off a, uh, a mineral player on the, first, on the first round. That's true. I, that's that's good. I feel like it normally happens running back round, but two more jerseys are going to get ripped off, so I wouldn't get ahead of ourselves here. No, I'm fully expecting this to be gold and silver. This is an Olympic round right here for sure. Uh, let's go five and four. Jersey number five. Jamar Chase. Yep, there's the gold. There is the gold. And you want a jersey number four? Here comes the silver jersey number four. Marky, okay, okay. Miko Hartman. Miko Hartman. Thank God. I thought that was going to be A.J. Brown. I thought it was going to be A.J. Brown, too. A.J. Brown, sure. having A.J. Brown here is almost like two golds. It is a little bit too gold. Like, he, he's been so fucking good. The fact that anyone is projected above him is nuts. It is a little wild. But, you know, like, Buffalo's been a bad defense so far. Yeah. Yeah, no disrespect to Chase. It's more just like Brown. The fact that he's closer to Jalen Waddle than he is Chase is, it's, it's sus. You know what else is sus? This offer from the dishonorable Bankerson. Keep in mind, Banker, Scotty Miller's still on the board. I'll have to keep that in mind. Don't. You're so beautiful. Erase that from the record. <laughs> All right, you didn't want Tyler Lockett. How about DK Metcalf? 9.9 projection taken on the Baltimore Ravens. Such a Bankerson offer. 9.9? That feels a little low. Feels low, but he, he hasn't, like, really been getting it done. He hasn't really been him. Dude, I kind of like that offer, though. Still got some downside on the board, but... <laughs> A little bit of upside still available. There's a little bit of me that wants, that wants to go another round. You got one more in you? I wish, you know what I wish I could see? The answers? Yeah, what was under jersey number <laughs> three, six, eight, and ten. No, like the the entire player pool. So, for instance, like if I turn this down, hoping that I get two bad jerseys and the next offer's higher, I might not even like the next offer more than DK. So it's hard for me to like play off that, you know? DK feels like a good offer, but then I don't want to rip off two good jerseys and the next offer is like, projected higher but i want dk back you know i guess so but look if you rip off the bottom two jerseys you are sitting pretty yeah i'd just be yapping for sure yeah oh man i should take this i'm gonna play another round he's gonna continue to play it's a no deal that wasn't smart already is, i beat myself. already regretting i beat myself in this game jmo fuck everything i all my principles and my morals and everything i've stood by up to this point that has won me the last five games in a row I actually didn't tell you what the punishment is this week, did I? No, you didn't. I was supposed to, but then you chant, you threw a challenge oh, flag. Yeah, wait, hold up a you, second. You threw a Before challenge I make this flag. this decision, I want to know the challenge. No. That, that's not fair. You can't tell me at the end of the game <laughs> at, while I'm deciding how risky well, I Well, you know be. what? I would have I told you it, but we got derailed because you wanted to challenge the fact that you lost last week. I thought I looked at the numbers. I thought I ran them correctly. And I thought I told you what the punishment was before. All right, you know what? The punishment is the loser has to go has to make a top 10 list of their worst takes from the preseason. Oh. Yours. What What the fuck? You don't get to roast other people. No, it's your your worst takes. And you have to take a 100 milligram edible. And you have to be high during it. <laughs> I would, I'd walk off deal or no deal if, that, if it was related to that. You think you'd be able to use your legs after using a, taking 100 milligrams? No, I'm saying like I'm done. Like I quit the show. Before I have to get to that punishment, I would die. There's no escaping it. I'd be in a hospital for a month. All right, so I'm going to continue on the game as if you said no deal to DK Metcalf. Yeah, that's that's a light work punishment. I don't have, I haven't had a bad take, so that video would be one second long. Be like, how you doing? Talk, end, end the video. I love when you talk shit. Always works out in your favor. All right, two more jerseys. Get them out of here. Six and eight. Jersey number six. Darnell Mooney. Bang! You love to see that. And let's get the other side out of here. Jersey number eight, Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle. Guess who's uh, sitting there, anchored up? <laughs> Scotty Mill. Scotty too hotty. Offer me DK Metcalf again. Nope. What do you mean? All right. Not not too bad of a situation we got ourselves here. Keep in mind, Scotty Miller's still there. But keep in mind, AJ Brown's still there. Banker. 
What are we thinking? I'm going to offer you Terry McLaurin. 10.4 projection taken on the, the New England Patriots. You'd rather have DK, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and he's projected fewer points. That's why, That's like why I didn't want to. Yeah, but you, let's keep in mind, you did rip off Jalen Waddle. This feels like... So, oh, this just, okay. just no way how has a good game in fuck. You got him right where you want him. Right where you want him, banker. You're going to eat him alive. And he's just crying to the mic, sir. Wow, woo wee woo. Oh, man. I don't really feel good about going anywhere on the board. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go no deal. It's a no deal for Terry McLaurin. Scary Terry season is over. Oh, this could be so bad. We're going to continue on with our final jersey to rip off the bleachers. Ten. He wants to go for jersey number ten. The dime piece. Get it out of here. Show me who's under, under number ten. Scotty uh, Miller. Absolute dagger. Uh, in the banker's back. Still look beautiful. He doesn't mean that anymore. <laughs> Now that I don't need you, I don't mean it anymore. <laughs> now that this board's looking ugly for you, we're dumping your ass. All right, banker. How do you get out of the situation? Um, Don't beg. Don't beg. You don't look good begging. <laughs> I'm going to offer you T. Higgins. 12.1 projection taken on the Buffalo Bills. That's crazy. Is it, though? T. Higgins. T. Higgins. He's had one good game the whole fucking year. So is, I don't know, so is Garrett Wilson, maybe? Right, but why is T. Higgins projected fucking two and a half points more? Because his quarterback is closer to A.J. Brown than he is Garrett Wilson. I think it's a fair offer. I'd rather have D.K. make it. You would not rather have D.K. T. Higgins against the Bills? That's what such the a good fuck matchup. has T. Higgins done? But that's a good matchup. Bill and Bengals are back. Yeah, that's fair. I applaud you, Bankerson. Mostly because he's going to turn this down, and he's going to have to there's risk it all. Adam's feeling, and I figured there's a higher chance he accepts this. Hey, yeah, we don't. What do you mean? You'd rather have Thielen? Who does Carolina play? Houston. No, Ka- that was last week. Thielen's was last worst week. game is basically Higgins' best game this year. Panthers play the Colts. <laughs> That's a money matchup. Brother. First counter offer in the history of Dealer No Deal? I offer you... <laughs> See, you wouldn't even do Thielen. No, no, oh, I would take Thielen over Higgins in a second. For but sure. Wait, okay, but I'm he, saying, like, if I offer it, that means I can't play the board out. So I'm thinking, would I rather have Thielen or play the board out? Right. Right. So what you're saying is incorrect. I'm saying first counter offer in the history of. I didn't offer game. anything though, because once I offer it, then but I don't that's have why, the ability. That's why I threw a question mark at the end of it. Yeah, sir. That's why I'm questioning all your integrity right Do now. Do you want to or not? I'm not sure. Let me think. If you quit yapping, you and JMO. JMO's chip munching 100% made an entrance halfway through this video. 100%. Guy can't close his yapper. Entourage, good show. Yeah, that'll get me juiced up. T Higgins on the board. May I counter offer with Adam Thielen? Send him a counter offer. You know what? I'm going to fucking allow it. Banker, now you have the offer of Adam Thielen. For the first time in the history of Deal or No Deal, the Bankerson is on the hot seat. He's got to make a decision. You want him to end up with Garrett Wilson. That's your best hope. So are you going to give him Adam Thielen here? Mm. Oh, he hits you with the hardest mm he's ever hit you with so far. <laughs> you know he's fucking thinking about it. I'm going to hit you with a counter counter offer. Double counter offer. This is amazing. What is it, Bankerson? You get Adam Thielen. But you have to talk about how good of a person he is. We, I can't allow that. We're, our show's going to get canceled. We're going to get taken off the air. You can't. You can't. Adam Thielen. You, there's certain great citizen. No, there's of certain the Carolina yeah, community. Adam Thielen, OJ Simpson, Aaron <laughs> Hernandez. You can't talk positive about it. We're going to get fucking canceled. Adam Thielen. There's no one I would rather date my mother and sister at the same time than Adam Thielen. If I could have a child and have someone raise it for me, it'd be Adam. There's no brighter pillar in the Carolina community than Adam Thielen. Patterson, I accept your offer. All right, you know, this is a deal. You're a scumbag for that, though. <laughs> You're an absolute scumbag. You know that? All dignity out the window. You have no more pride. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're damn right I am. You're going to let Adam Thielen date right your mother and sister. They're not proud of you anymore. Bankerson, I blame you for this, too. AJ Brown's for sure sitting up there at number nine. You didn't. You didn't have to make him do that. God damn it! I don't, I don't even know if we're gonna have a running back round. <laughs> Fucking FCC is gonna come after our asses. All right, let's put Jersey number nine back up on the board. All right, you already ended up with scumbag Thielen, but if you didn't, if swapped. you had an ounce of respect for yourselves, you would have played this out and went where? Brown nine. You would have swapped for Jersey, or you would have kept your Jersey oh, number God. nine, which is Garrett Wilson. I'll tell you what, I made. I think like the end of. Uh, Games, like when I bow out, I always end up switching to the wrong jersey. So I've, I've made good moves. Yeah, you know when you've overstayed your welcome mm-hmm. in this game. Me and Adam Thielen, we're getting <laughs> bunk beds together. <laughs> oh, man. Jamo, who would you have taken, Thielen or T. Higgins? He said Thielen. He loves Thielen. He's terrified that you have Thielen right now. 
I'm terrified. I'm I'm losing you. You're going to the dark side here. All right. That was the wide receiver round for Deal or No Deal Week 9. We'll be back for the running backs after this. And we are back with running backs. J-Mo is back on the couch. Week 9 is upon us. You need to finish out your duo of players. The Bankerson is here, as he always is. He lives in the bank. So, you know what you got to do. You know what this is. This is your jersey. You know I've never picked a jersey from the middle row. Have you really? Never. Is that facts? Sounds facts. You're 0 for... Eight. I'm pretty or, sure. Or I guess you're talking about running backs and receivers. Yeah, I feel like I always go 1, 4, 10. So you're 0 for 16 picking in the middle row. Yeah. Is now the time you're going to change? No. No. Four. You want jersey <laughs> number, number four. four. All right. the four piece. Jersey number four is your jersey for today. Let's get rid of mm, three jerseys. Three jerseys. Get them out of here. I mentioned the middle row. I was heavily considering case number six for some reason today. Let's let's just get that out of the way. Get that painful. He's gone. Your heart was telling you six. You decided not to go with it. And jersey number six is Alvin Kamara. <laughs> oh, my God. That is tough. <laughs> Got to trust your gut. Yeah, your gut Holy was yelling at you shit. today to just, you know, switch it up a little bit. Oh. Two more jerseys. We still got to get them out of here. All right. One and three. Jersey number one. Jonathan Taylor. Dude, it's a rough outing. This is not a good start. We are ripping off some minerals. And then jersey number three is Daryl Henderson. Daryl Henderson. Kind of a little bit of a question mark, but, I mean, projection-wise, he's kind of up there. Ouch. Not good. Yeah, the banker's giving you a thumbs down right now. It is... um, I feel it. It's an unfortunate round. But you know what? You're going to get an offer from the bankerson. It's probably not going to be that high. But mathematics say that, you know, if you were to rip off more jerseys, you'd probably do to rip off some bad names. But first, let's get the offer from the Bankerson. I'm going to offer you Justice Hill. 6.5 projection taken on the Seattle Seahawks. You don't like a little justice in your life? No. Bankerson's trying to offer you some justice after that terrible first round. Yeah, I uh, had to not consider that. No deal. Not even going to consider it. It's a no deal. Justice Hill, three touchdown games, Loden. It's his turn, not Gus's. Probably. What's your gut saying? Your gut saying no? Yeah, no. All right. Well, we already established that. It's time to start listening to your gut. What two jerseys is your gut telling you to rip off? Five and two. Jersey number five. Chase Edmonds. Let's go. Stay humble. Stay Let's calm. Let's go. We love There's that. Not many smiles yet. Not smiling yet. No. But will you smile after? Jersey number two. Amir Abdullah. Let's go. See what I said? That's See what I said? Turn around. See, I've been here before, all right? I'm a seasoned vet. I know how this game works. You rip off the top jerseys, then you're due to rip off the bottom jerseys. So player number 9 and 10 off the board. That's got to help the offer. That's a, that's a weight off my chest. From the Bankerson. Here comes Gus instead of Justice Hill. <laughs> Is that what you want, j No. Call his bluff. Offer him. Gus Edwards. I'm a counter offer like Nick did. You think you've established yourself to just be sending counter offers? I mean, if it's a new rule. We make up new rules on the fly, all right? Give me three players, sexy. Yeah, you want three players? Yeah. Mir Abdullah, Jarek McKinnon, and Chase Edmonds. <laughs> Might be able to make that work. Um, I'm going to offer you Jerome Ford. 9.9 projection taken on the Arizona Cardinals. Good matchup. That's a very good matchup. He's getting healthier. He's getting healthier. He's getting pretty good. But Kareem's just like right here like the little nagging brother like i was like bring your brother with you it's like motherfucker what's the heck is up there still so i gotta say no deal <laughs> i gotta say no deal jmo this feels like he's getting a little greedy but it's a no deal and we're gonna move on to our next round two more jerseys we gotta get him out of here let's start with seven jersey number seven Jarek mckinnon okay okay this is good we're, hey, we are climbing out of the depths of hell right now. God, where is Eckler at? 10 is scaring me to death, but I'm going to rip it off. This 10 feels like 6 again. It's like, fuck. Once again, are you fading your gut again? <laughs> again, I <laughs> Once again, he's fading his gut. Going to rip off the dime piece, which is Aaron Jones. Okay, I'm good with that. Aaron Jones. You love yourself some Aaron Jones, though. I do, but he's, he's just not it. Like I love Jones, but he's not healthy. He's still not practicing. kind of hate that he's even up here. Dude, these three I could live with. It's a, it, like, I'm not, you gonna, turned it around for sure. Yeah. Like, Roshan, no one wants him, but like, 
You still got like two pretty good answers on the yeah. board. I actually think this offer from the Bankerson is going to be surprisingly nice. Should be. Should be. Mathematics say it should be. How the Bankerson does his math, no one really knows. But Bankerson, what are we thinking? I'm going to offer you James Cook. 10.9 projection taken on the Cincinnati Bengals. Sunday Night Football, James Cook. You know, it's hard to have faith in James Cook when the Bills don't have faith in James Cook. They just signed. Le- throw Lenny in there and I'll take this deal. Nobody wants like <laughs> The Bills don't even want Lenny. They don't know why they signed him either. Just, they signed him for a reason, so I, I got to say no. Even if he's on limited snaps, I, it's a threat that I don't want to have to worry about. No All deal. right. No deal. We move on to the last round of ripping off jerseys. James Cook wasn't going to get it done. Let's cook one more jersey off the board. Nine. He's going to go with jersey number nine. Roshan Johnson. Huge. Go. Huge oh dub for James. Dude, you could argue... Eckler is RB1. Like, I know the projection's not there, but that's an argument to be made. I, th- I think it's fair, for sure. Yeah. I like, mean, if if Eckler was a gold piece right now and Kamara was a silver, no one would question that, and my offer would be pretty high up there. Do you hear that, Bankerson? Keep that in mind when you're doing your calculations, yeah, all right? There's Ec- basically a gold piece left. Ba- Eckie's basically a goldie, all right? Yeah. I mean, look, he's, he said he's going to take it into consideration. Okay. You got two very good running backs, but you also have – this offer. You know who he has to offer? I can't say it because I'm just going to turn it down, aren't I? You scumbag. <laughs> just say it. Who do you want? I mean, who was in between them? Who's like a 13-point guy? Who was, point? who was in between them? It was JT. It was JT. JT was in between them. Interesting. Banker, what's your math saying? God. The math is saying that I'm going to offer you Saquon Barkley. 12.8 projection taken on the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Am I a piece of shit? I'm going to say no to oh Saquon. Oh, my God. Taking on the Raiders? Danny Dimes is back? 36 carries he had last week. Is that good or bad? Saquon Barkley had 36 fucking carries. 36. What do you mean, is that good or bad? He's tired. <laughs> no, he's not. He can't be doing everything. Apparently, they're going to make him try. He's so tired, Tony. I'm tired of you not taking deals, damn it. Oh, I think I, I, think I do got to take this deal. The, the Jets' defense kind of scares me against Eckler. And Joe Mixon, that's just... Anytime Joe Mixon comes off a great game, once he ever fall that up with another one. Like, it comes that's in true. patches. I'm going to take that deal. It's a deal. Let me shake your hand. It's been a while since I've been Let's able to go. shake your hand. Finally, J-Mo and the Bankerson make a deal for Saquon Barkley. A top-notch, upper echelon running back. Love to see that. That's a big that's, bounce that's back a good from offer. Your- by the banker. I'm glad to be in business with them. Yeah, see? You know what? It's good to sometimes make deals with the devil, all right? Sometimes. I mean, who is your wide receiver again? Gabe Davis. Gabe Davis. All right, kind of boom bust. Saquon Barkley gives you a I need a little a stability. Nice, yeah. Yes, stability. You're learning. You need <laughs> okay. to be a little okay. stable in this game. However, let's put jersey number four back up on the board. Your sweetheart, your compadre, yeah. and let's just see how this would have played out. You already took Saquon Barkley, but... If you had to choose between four and eight, where would you have gone? I think I would have kept four. You would have stuck with jersey number four, which was Joe Mixon. Okay. I'm Joe Mixon. That. I'm happy with that. You ended up Let's with Saquon rather If I rather had Mixon, than Joe. I'd be going into Sunday Night Football needing quite a game. Yeah, you like would. Him and, him and you would Gabe. need all your points scored in that Sunday Night Game. I would about just one game, so good, good move. All right. You did good, kid. You did good. You have found yourself a running back and wide receiver. We will be back. For the last round of Deal or No Deal to find Nick himself a running back. And we are back with our last round of Deal or No Deal for week nine. Nicholas is back on the couch today to find himself a running back to pair up with your wide receiver who was... Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen, the that's right. The great pillar of the Carolina right, enough. community. I'm, I regret even doing that The economy that would enough. be in shambles uh, without that man. Pick a jersey. God damn, fuck, I forgot you did that. I'll tell you what. It's I'll, a good board. I'll tell you what. As as forgiving as yesterday's board was, this is oppositely unforgiving. This is not a good board. Oh, you don't like this board. Why would anyone like this board? I thought you were going to like this board. I'm happy for you. I thought it was the Ten. season of giving thanks and unforgiving or something. I don't know. You want the dime piece. You can have the dime piece. That is yours. Thank you. Three jerseys are not yours, though. Let's get unforgiving. Let's get funky. Let's get funky, funky. Uh, three, three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. This gang taking out that uh little bottom right corner, starting with jersey number three. Joe Mixon. Joe Fraud. Mixon. Fraud. You don't like him anyways. Fraud. Show me jersey number four. 
Austin Eckler. He's a good ball player. He's very good. Enough. And then, jersey number seven, Jonathan Taylor. Hi, buddy. This is a tough round. Classic common Nick L. So common you couldn't even bet on it. It's too heavy of a favor for you to rip off the top jerseys. This offer from the Bankerson is going to be an interesting one for sure. Banker, keep in mind, he still has an anchor up top. Not hanging on by much, but it's still there. Three steps back for a major comeback right here, Sexy. Yeah. Whatever. Well, let's hope that this offer is what you want, and that is Zach Charbonnet. 5.9 projection taken on the Baltimore Ravens. Nice little glass of Charbonnet. Yeah, I'm out. No, You're going to say no deal? I'm sober. I'm out. All right. It's a no deal. We move on. You know, I was trying to teach this lesson to JMO earlier. Mathematics say when you rip off the top jerseys, what's due? The bottom jerseys. Factoids. This one, is where you make one, two, eight. One, two, eight. All right. Starting. Hey, you one, only two, need two. You only need two, by the way. I want to do three. Uh, give me eight. Okay, so you want to go with eight. Mm-hmm. Let's start there with jersey number eight. Daryl Henderson. I mean, uh, let's just rip off another one. I ain't going to comment on it. Let's go number two. All right. All right, we can do that. Jersey number two. Roshan Johnson. Whatever. I mean, nothing you would, matters at this point. Yeah, I think like, you literally nothing matters. I think you would have hoped for a little bit worse of running backs than these guys. Starting to become those scary hours. As Chris Hansen would say, the witching hour, where your wins become losses and offers from the Bankerson become disrespectful. Bankerson, what are we thinking? <laughs> the banking hours. <laughs> the banking hours. I'm going to offer you Royce Freeman. 6.7 projection taken on the Green Bay Packers. I think that's a pretty good offer where we stand right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is karma for taking but the, the last the, wide receiver. The, the problem is, though, like, Royce Freeman's not a deal guy. You know, like, if, if you have Royce Freeman on your team, it's because you just ended up there at the end of the game. <laughs> like, you, you don't take a deal on Royce Freeman. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. You're out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, no, I, I, I know what you're saying, but we're also at that point where it's like maybe you do take a deal with Royce Freeman. Maybe. I last chance. Take him. No, I already said All right. That. No deal. Don't give Moving me a last on. chance. <laughs> give me a last chance on someone I'm actually thinking about. Okay. Fair enough. Two more jerseys. Get him out of here. Remember one when you wanted to rip off three? One and six. Them. Okay. Jersey number one. Chase Edmonds. We needed that. In jersey number six, can I get a six? Jarek McKinnon. Hey. All right, we're hey. back. <laughs> kind of. Hey. We're as... How you doing? We're as back as you can be in this situation. Every time, it's the same. Every fucking time. We always end up in this situation. All right, Bankerson. He's doing a little better. I think you got to put that into your equation. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Put that in your calculator and compute it. <laughs> I was going to say something so out of pocket. I'm going to offer you Ramondre Stevenson. Mm. 9.4 projection taken on the Washington Commanders. I think that's a fucking gift. I mean, I, I understand he's like pretty much the same as Aaron Jones, but no, no maybe it's not a gift. I take that back. It's not a gift. <sighs> well, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fair offer. It's more than I can usually say for, for the banking hours. Right. Ramondre versus Washington. Great offer. What are you talking about? Yeah, like the problem is Ramondre, he, I think he scored three points last week, but... Going against Washington, they're Mollish in Foxborough. Their defense. Right. They, no more Chase Young. No more Montez Sweat. Their line's going to be hurting. Their defense already stinks. Let me see if I can read the board first. What you reading? Uh, there's a lot of, like, garbage hanging out on the left side. So it makes me feel like Amir Abdul is not there. But I don't know. It, I don't know. Baron Jones and Kamara on the top. I don't. I wouldn't really know where to go. Ramondre Stevenson. That is the offer at hand. Thank God I have feeling. You know? No one... No one has ever thought that, but sure. What do you want, buddy? You want Ramondre? You want to keep playing? I don't want Ramondre, but... I mean, considering how this round started, Ramond- the fact that we're here at Ramondre feels pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's an, it's an every, week <laughs> every, every week for him. Give me a minute. I got a lot on my mind right now. Went to the club last night. What club? Tau? Tau Uptown. Damn, Uptown. Tau Midtown. <laughs> Tau Hoboken. I'm going to go to Tau Downtown tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I might just fucking do it. Relax, banker. Relax. Banker's got appointments he got to go to. He's got foreclosures he's got to collect on. Bankruptcy. <laughs> he's got to collect. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> he has a single mom he has to kick out of her house. Yo, what was that shit about single mothers? Remember Remember we had like a running bit when you were here? You were talking about single mothers and people yeah. were hating you on. What was that? I don't remember. Wait. That's not what's important. What's important is do you want Ramondre Stevenson? 
I'd rather a single mother <laughs> Ramondre right now. Is that an offer? Can I counter offer? With who? His a mother? S- a single mother. His mother, not single. You know, it's the banking hour. It's also the chipping hour for <laughs> Shamo <laughs> in the back. <laughs> ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold that thought. No deal, I'm assuming. I, I just got to make a decision. I got to submit something here. No, nah, I'm going I'm to take the deal. I'm all gonna right, take, I'm we're going to do it. it. Take I take back the no deal. It's an official deal for Ramondre Stevenson for my man, Nicholas. All right, I'm glad we could come to this agreement finally. Somebody got a little bit of cold feet. What do you think? Taking out a big loan. It impacts my life. It, and it really wasn't that big of a loan. It's Ramondre Stevenson. But we're going to put jersey number 10, the one you picked, back up on the board and play this out just a little bit. If you had to rip off one more jersey, where would you have gone? Um, Nine. You would have ripped off jersey number nine, which was Alvin Kamara. Bang. So things would have gotten very scary for you, considering that it would have now been between Aaron Jones and Amir Abdullah. And if you had to keep jersey 10 or switch it for five. Uh, I would have taken five. Feels like Aaron Jones is probably sitting there. You would have swapped out for five, which was Aaron Jones. So you read the, the last round correct. Unfortunately, you had Amir Abdul God under your jersey this entire time. What else is fucking new? <laughs> what else is fucking new? Nothing. You piece of shit. Y'all made fun of me for throwing out Amir Abdul in last trivia. Karma. Karma for you taking Adam Thielen. Came right back to me. I'll take Ramondre and Thielen. It's not a bad duo. Not a bad duo. That is your team going up against J-Mo's team who ended up with Gabe Davis and Saquon Barkley. Oh, my God. How does the motherfucker get those players every week? He's good. He's a natural at this. You just say no deal, and somehow it just ends up being the best players still left on the board every time. Kid's got nuts. Literally like the opposite of me. Yeah. You get scared out of the deal, but we will see who will be doing a not top 10 of their own worst takes from the offseason. And that concludes week nine of Deal or No Deal. I, Jamison Trahan, am honored to stand here today and induct Matthew Spirio as the first ever member of the BDGE Office Trivia Hall of Fame. Matt's knowledge of NFL history, statistics, and trivia is unparalleled. You cannot put a price on knowing ball, just like you can't put a price on building a legacy. His ability to recall the most minute details from Super Bowl MVPs to unscrambling scrambled names cannot be matched. Matt's passion for the sport is documented and evident in his encyclopedic ball knowledge. He's not just a trivia Savant. He's a community builder. Matt's willingness to teach, mentor, and engage with others has created a vibrant NFL trivia community in our office. He has sparked countless conversations, debates, and friendly rivalries in the name of football. From swearing that Jordan Love will be the next Green Bay Packer prodigy to guaranteeing that this is Jerry Judy's year, whether Matt is right or wrong, he was always his true self both on and off the field. With Matt switching teams and not sticking with BDG forever, he didn't follow Andrew Luck, Calvin Johnson, and Barry Sanders in loyalty but he did follow them in performance. As all of them, including Matt, went out on top with so much left on the table, leaving us all to wonder what could have been. During his short stint, he took the league by storm and entered the Trivia Hall of Fame. But my interpretation is that if Matt fulfilled a full 20-year career, he would have just been in the Hall of Fame. The league logo would be shaped after him. In total, Matt's exceptional knowledge and the ability to unite us through NFL trivia makes him a prime candidate for the Hall of Fame. It's not just about the time spent playing the game, it's about the profound impact and the endurance during legacy someone leaves on the game. Matt's place in the Hall of Fame of NFL Office Trivia is a well-deserved honor, and I hope you'll join me in celebrating his outstanding achievements. Thank you. In the eye.